Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The Indiana Democratic Party is launching a statewide tour to promote cannabis legalization. Coinciding with the launch on 420, an unofficial weed holiday, Democratic Senate candidate Tom McDermott released an ad in which he smokes a joint. The tour launch event included several veterans groups, which have been among the chief voices calling for at least legalization of cannabis for medicinal use. McDermott admitted he was nervous filming the commercial, which was shot in Illinois, where cannabis is legal. State House Republicans have refused to even hear legislation on cannabis legalization, and Governor Eric Holcomb has repeatedly said he wants the federal government to act first. IU has established a Climate Action Planning Committee. The Committee of Professors, Students, and Staff from multiple IU campuses aims to develop and identify recommendations to reduce the impact of greenhouse gas emissions at all IU campuses. Those concepts are often put in their little boxes a little bit too much, and I'm starting to see how they all dove dovetail together and need to be addressed in the same conversations. Officials say Indiana is going to face a future with higher heat and more storms, which is why the committee is an important step in the right direction. And graduate students at Indiana University's Bloomington campus voted to extend their labor strike for another week. Around 1,000 graduate workers have been on strike for almost a week now. It comes after the university administration refused to officially recognize the union. The school did announce Monday that a task force would be formed to study issues like wages and student fees. Now a quick check on the weather forecast. Rain tonight lows down to 53 degrees. In the five-day forecast, tomorrow more rain, 70. Slight chance of showers on Fridays, highs up to 77. Then mostly sunny, 82 degrees by Saturday. More news online, WTIUnews.org.